Hey guys, so we are going to be doing a little swatch video um, for the We Are Memory Keepers foil quilt freestyle pens. This is the kit set, so the three, there are four, but since I don't really calligraphy, I don't have the calligraphy pen. And then I do have all 19 foil quilt We Are Memory Keeper foils as well that they offer. So I'm gonna cut little pieces off of each of these. I have black and white cardstock paper. I can move all of these out of the way. Uh, black and white cardstock paper. So we are going to test each color on black and white. And then um, this is what I'm using to, because it's USB charged. So I'm going to charge two of them up to warm up in a second. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is for each, all three, I'm basically just going to do a line to see how thick each one is. So we're going to swatch the thickness of them and kind of get a look there. And then I'm probably just going to use the thickest one to test the colors just so I can see more of the color. And then I'm just going to write the color as well with the foil next to it. Um, just so I know which color it is, but I'm just going to write it with the foil as well. So let me pop these out. Um, it comes with washi as well if you saw my unboxing to hold the foil down, but I'm probably just going to hold it down with my hand. I don't, or maybe I will end up using it. And then instead of cutting the gold, silver, and rose gold ones that I already have, I'm just going to use the um, little packs that they gave you just so I don't have to cut it up. All right, so I'm going to, so this is the one I got. I just got it on Amazon. It had really good reviews. Um, so this is pretty much all I got. I charged it up last night. So I'm going to charge up the, um, thick one and then the fine one. So then when I'm done doing the lines for the fine one, I can put the medium one on. And then, um, like I said, I'll just continue to use the thickest one. So these take about five minutes to warm up. So let me plug them in. So you know it's plugged in as well when the light comes on. So, get the thick one in here as well. So I'm powered on to yes. So I will give those about five minutes to warm up, and then why they do? I have a couple sheets just in case. I'm gonna go through. Let me just set a couple of these sheets aside. I'm gonna kind of just prep everything real fast here while those warm up. So I will be right back. So let's kind of just get started just so we can start to heat up the next ones a little bit. So let's see. Let me grab a little marker as well so I can mark the standard and stuff. So I'm just going to do these in the, let's just do it in the gold. So I'm just going to draw a line here with the small one. Come with me, cord. <laughs> okay. Oops. I'm just going to draw a nice small line. Maybe I'll do a couple lines here. So that's kind of the standard one. I'll do zoom in close and then photos at the end too. Let's do some here. The white one. It's a little harder since I didn't unwind the cord, but. So that's what the small one is. So let me unplug that. And plug in the medium one so it can start to warm up. Mm. It's not really the standard. It's not fine. 
I don't think this will show up on here. Nah, not really, but that's okay. Never really done one of these before, but just winging it as we go, I guess. So let's take the gold and do some, leave some space. So we can do the thick one. Ooh, these are for sure thick. feels hot <laughs> so we got enough down here to do this one So this one is our medium. So there we are. It's like any mess up show a little bit easier on the black. <laughs> okay, so let me set that aside. Because that's now pretty much scrap. So the fine one definitely is going to probably be really, really nice for detail work. And the medium one is probably, or the thick one's probably going to be the one I'll be looking more for personally. Uh, just because the ideas I have for it. But you never know. So now I'm going to go through and kind of start testing the different colors on the white versus the black. I'm going to start with the three that I already have over here, which is the gold, the rose gold, and the silver. And then I only got a few other ones cut. Um, I'm going to take this one and tie this one. Since it's the main one I'm going to use. And then so I'm just going to do a couple lines like I did with these. And then actually maybe write the word or the color of it. So maybe I'll want the thin one as well for the writing of the name. I'll just plug it in just in case. Okay. So I don't need the marker anymore. Let's do another slither of the gold.
right. So here kind of is our color comparison of the white and the black. Let me get all this tape off my arm. Um, so I don't know if it's because the texture of the black paper, but I was having a harder time getting it to heat transfer over than I was on the white paper. My white paper has a smooth finish to it and my um, black paper is kind of more of a matte, more rougher texture. So I'm not sure if that was taken, you know, if that caused some of the issues. Um, but I did notice to get a nice, good, clean line, you kind of want to, you don't want to go too fast. So you want to go pretty nice and slow when making your lines and things like that. But then sometimes there is a little bit of like residue left. So I'd probably just get a brush and kind of brush that away as well to kind of give yourself more of a like a crisper line and things like that. Um, but I'm going to take close up images, but here I'm going to kind of do a little so you can kind of see them all shine. Probably easier to see them this way. But the one I thought I was going to like the best was this matte pearl, but you can't really see it at all on the white paper, which kind of makes me sad. Um, but these colors are really, really, really nice. Some of them, the matte ones, compared to the regular, had more of like a transparency to the film, to the, well, not really the film, but to the foil, compared to the rest was more of like a solid disbursement of color. Um, so that's just one thing I noticed compared from the mattes to the normal non-matted color. You can kind of see the lines here on the back. It doesn't really give too much of like a, a debossed effect. So I'm surprised you can kind of see the black a little bit. Kind of reflecting, kind of turns it more into a gray, I would say, like a deep gray than a black on the black paper. So that's kind of a cool alternative if you don't want black black. And then of course the matte pearl does show up way better on the black, but it kind of just looks more of a white than kind of a pearl I was thinking of. Um, I don't know if in my head I was thinking it was going to be more like holographic-y or something, but um, I don't know of any other brands that do heat foils. Um, I'll definitely have to look into something like that because of course other than that you're kind of stuck to these 19 colors that We Are Memory Keepers has released so far that, I mean, they might release more colors. I'm not 100% sure on that. But here it is. I'll also be putting close-ups on my blog. So if you ever want to just reference or just download images for yourself for reference, um, you're more than welcome to. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little swatching go through for the 19 different We Are Memory Keepers heat foils with the Foil Quill Freestyle Pen. Like, subscribe, and share if you want. And until the next video. Bye guys.